hello everyone welcome to pc park studios channel in this video i'm going to teach you how to apply for presidential youth empowerment scheme that is pes program please don't forget to subscribe to our channel share this video and like this video in this video i'm going to tell you step by step on how to apply for this program First of all, I would like to define what PS is. PS is to empower the Nigerian youth through creating opportunity and enabling environment for wealth creation by aiming the youth with skills and acquisition. And it is a federal government initiative program. So to apply for this program, you should open your browser, visit this address. Here it is, rec.ps.gov.ng. Make sure you type it correctly see it here ps.gov.ng then after typing it you will add to this page see it here then you scroll down you scroll down please make sure you read this precondition for enlistment applicant must be an Nigerian and must be a between the age of from 18 to 40 years applicant must have means of identification that's national id card Applicant must provide a second level, level beneficiary SLB to qualify for benefiting from this scheme. These are the nine. These are the nine preconditions for enlistment. Then here is the application form. First of all, you type your name here. Then your last name. if you are a male you choose male if you are a female you choose female then marital statute if you are a single just type single if you are married then you type married that's how they did their form then here they ask for phone number then you type your phone number then here they ask for your email then you have your email here then you repeat what you type for here as your email make sure you type it correctly sorry gmail.com mahgmail.com then you should type it here sorry as you can see the email doesn't match then you have to check very well to see what you have typed gmail.com mah gmail.com now the email is must now you put your full resident address of my residence that's my address government resident area that's my address then here you choose form of identification if you have that has means of identification if you have national id card you choose national id card if you have voters card you choose any one that you have you choose one let's say i choose national id card that's what i hold then you type the name number for your national id card that's 11 digit then you type your state here you type your local government then here you type your word name that's your word in your local government then here you type your state of residence make sure you identify what state of residence is and state of origin state of origin is where you were born while state of residence is where you are currently living then now you put i'm still currently living in borno then the lga of my residence that's the local government of that resident that you are staying then you put i'm living in meduguri that's the local government where i stay then you provide your bvn Here you, you provide your bank name. 
here you provide your sorry yeah your bank name first bank then here you provide your highest academic qualification then you put bsc if it is primary school you hold then you put primary school if it is secondary school you put secondary school that's how it is let me put my then where is your business located then you put the where the address of your business is my business is located at gra Meduguri. then do you have someone other than yourself you want to empower you then you put yes then who is that person you put the name of the person that you want to empower under you then you put Hamid Anisu Kakamala. That's where that's the person I want to empower on the knee. Then here you put his email. Then put single. If the guy is single, then you put single. Then here you put your date of birth. I think you put his date of birth. Here you put his phone number. Here you put his email address. Here you put his resident address. He also lives in GRA Meduguri. That's how it is. Then here you select his means of identification if the person holds national id card then you choose national if it is international passport then you choose any of it then you choose uh, employment status that's this employment status is for you are you employed or not then you put unemployed then here the question is for you again are you beneficiary of any federal government then you put no if it is yes maybe if you are in with empower then you put yes since i'm not part of the federal government initiative then i put no so here question goes on if yes to above state to above if yes to above state the name of the empowerment program then you put the name so for me it's no no i don't need to put anything here then here have you ever been convicted to any rank in nigeria or any then you put no then here if yes state the offense and the country are you honest and law abiding yes or no then you put no sorry then you put yes here then are you are you a business owner then you push you put yes again then what business are you currently engaged in that's state clearly then you put what type of business are you currently doing then you put let's say um, tailoring pick a business below where you you would like to be empowered then among this list of training then you choose where you want to empower where you want ps to empower you for this training program then you choose tailoring that's based on my field then you scroll down after scrolling down make sure you have typed everything correctly before you hit this summit application so don't worry please don't forget to subscribe to our channel share our video and like this video then you click summit that's all please don't forget to subscribe and share this video